Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create some consistent characters in Leonardo AI. And as you can see, I have, I think, 8 examples here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I think 9. So as you can see right here, all of them are consistent characters. Not that much 100% of course, but I think 99% or 97 they're consistent, especially Batman right here. So I'm gonna teach you how I created this one. You're gonna need the Leonardo AI, of course, and this is basically the landing page of Leonardo AI. Next up, you're gonna need this website. So this is the next website you're gonna need behind the name.com. Here's the link. And then let's go back to Leonardo AI before I explain how to use the behind the name. So the idea here, or the tip for you is that be consistent within the name. No matter what your prompt is, give it a name, give it a profile, name your prompt, give it a personality. That's the idea. Let me just fix something here. So, as you can see right here, a man named Dehuri, lost in the woods, looks confused to find his way. I gave it a name. Then that is what the website earlier is for. So let's try creating some here. I'm gonna get a name. So right here, you can choose masculine, feminine, and then the race right here. So I'm gonna go for Amon right there. I found it. I like how it sounds like. Go back to a Leonardo and basically just change the name. I'm not changing anything, just the name. And by the way, you can add some more here, some negative prompts. For example, you want either one blurry, pixel noisy. And I'm going to stay with two images. And by the way, guys, I haven't touched anything regarding the metrics. Simply click on generate right there and wait for it to finish. So after creating our own prompt, um, being consistent, we're going to try another one later with a different um, template or remix something from other creators. I'll get back to you once it's here, okay? So welcome back. This is now our result regarding Amon. If you're gonna notice, this part right here, this image, are most likely the same. And as you can see right here, that is how you create consistent characters. If you want to change, for example, a man named Amon lost in the woods. For example, let's just say, um, black jacket. I'm just gonna put a black jacket right there. Click on generate. Because I want to show you an example here. If you want to change something, for example, the jacket only, you can put blue jacket, red jacket right there. However, it will still be consistent because I gave it a name. That's the main keyword here, main key point. Let's check them out. As you can see right there, there's a black jacket. Let's try giving it a red one. Let's see if it work out. I hope it will work out right here. I'm going to paste, by the way, the link for the website regarding the name so you don't have to find it later on. So there we have it. Still consistent, though the red jacket is turning um, you have a little bit because it's not quite um appealing regarding the environment. Now this is how you create consistent characters with your own prompts. Let's try doing it with other prompts. Go back to the landing page of Leonardo. So this is basically the other creations of other creators. If you hover your mouse, there are some prompts right there. And I'm gonna look for a very realistic looking one. I think this one right here is enough, but I want some a little bit more realistic than that. Give me a second here, okay? About this one. This one right here. I'm gonna click on it right now. And then you'll see right here, you can remix. Click on remix. And now after clicking remix, it will go back from the earlier prompt. As you can see, we have the prompt of that exact image. It will not give us the exact one. However, it will give us 99% um, the same one as that one, okay? So let's just look for this as a strongly attracted young woman. Let's look for a part here where we can insert the name or we can give it a personality or somewhat. So an active, active young woman name and then let's look for a name. I'm going to go back to the website earlier and then since it's a woman right now, we're going to go for feminine. And then we're going to look for exact name here of a girl named feminine in Egyptian mythology. I think I'm going to go with Isis right here. Go back to Leonardo and then paste it right there. I just inserted name. I haven't touched anything yet. And let's now generate. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. As you can see right here, this is our new image. Regarding the remix method earlier, I just changed the name, right? It's still looking alike versus the one we copied from original. Let's try one more. I already copied the name. Just changing the name here, not touching anything else. So right now it's named Aisha. Generate for 4 tokens. And by the way, regarding these coins, they refresh every uh, 24 hours, so you don't have to pay for the full price or the pay subscription if you're 
just having here for fun. And now, let's wait for this one to finish. So welcome back. And as you can see right there, they're perfectly consistent. Not 100% though, I'm gonna say 99 or 98% because the eyes, the eyebrows, even the lashes are the same. If you're gonna tell me that they're not one person, I'm not gonna believe you. But anyway, this is how you create consistent characters in Leonardo AI. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.